my name is Sonny Saxton. I'm the Executive Director for the Charlottesville UVA Albemarle County Emergency Communications Center, and we're located in Charlottesville, Virginia. At the Charlottesville UVA Albemarle County Emergency Communications Center, we answer approximately a quarter million calls a year. That translates to over 100,000 emergency responses. Citizens and community members call us for police, fire, or ambulance services. And our community is made up of not just urban, but also rural. And we do have a university, a major university in our community as well. So I think every 911 organization has turnover. Much like the rest of America and the other industries, 911 industry is seeing that as well. Particularly since uh, the pandemic and the closing years of the pandemic, uh, we've seen an increased number of coworkers that have chosen either to get out of the industry altogether, so they've left public safety, or they find themselves having to relocate, sometimes for family or for other jobs. So that's been a tremendous uh, burden on not just other agencies, but also ours as well. Currently, we have uh, less than uh, approximately about 10% vacancy. So with us, we've found that there's no secret sauce. Everyone needs to be valued as a coworker. And really, we've started looking for the unique individuals and the talents that match the job that we have. And really, that's made the difference for our team. Every coworker really wants to do a good job. And people, we're humans, we don't come to work thinking we don't want to do this. We come to work because we want to do this and we want to do it well. And so how do you help somebody see the opportunities for improvement? Well, it comes down to having um, immediate feedback. But now by immediate, I don't mean standing over someone telling them what they're going to do. Uh, but instead, I mean reviewing with them some opportunities for improvement, but in a timely nature. If we're talking to uh, the average 911 telecommunicator uh, and they've taken, say, 100 calls a day, they're going to be very unlikely to remember the specifics of a call that was weeks or months ago. So for us, quality improvement really matches with a coworker's desire to do the best that they can at work. But also, we have to have a method to give that feedback back to them timely. So the NICE platform is not only our audio log recorder, so it's recording those interactions for us, but also we use that to be able to retrieve those interactions and review them with our coworkers so they can hear themselves and they can hear the caller and find ways to improve. At our organization, we do a significant amount of quality improvement and looking back at our actions to make sure that they match what our community's needs are. Um, we have a statistically significant amount of quality reviews that are performed both for our call taking activities as well as our dispatching activities that we're reviewing approximately five to eight percent of all of the call volumes that come in. That is a huge amount of calls that are being re reviewed every week. So there's many demands on our supervisors these days and our quality improvement and quality assurance activities can add to those demands. Um, and it can be a real time drain. And so we have to be very careful about the amount of workload we're placing on them. And burnout's a real thing. And oftentimes we'll talk about our communications training officers being burned out, but our supervisors can get burned out too. And so the ways that we help them with that is we look for really good tools. We look for opportunities to be able to streamline their workflows and to make things just easier and more natural for them as well as the coworker. One tool that our supervisors have begun using is a screen capturing tool from NICE. That tool is available at each one of the supervisor's workstations when they're doing a quality review so they can look back and see exactly what was typed or clicked on a screen and they can add that to the recording to understand the context of why they're hearing or seeing or doing. And uh, that saved a lot of time for our supervisors because it, it solves the problem of having to go back and ask a lot of questions. Instead, they can see the context right then.
This past year, we were fortunate to implement video into the 911 center. And so our community for about 12 to 18 months now have had access to be able to send us images. But with that comes additional um, responsibilities as an organization. So perhaps how do we review those? How do we give those out to community members quickly if they want to see that information? Of course, only confidentially. Um, and how do we incorporate that into our quality assurance and our quality improvement? So those are things that we're starting to talk about. I recommend the NICE products for anyone that's looking to save time with their supervisor team or anyone that's looking for good quality recording tools and also good information, good analytics. Thank you.